What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and we have some news regarding some of the issues that a lot of the players have been complaining about recently in the game. Uh, Punishing Grey Raven dev team decided to go ahead and put a little something on Twitter. So let's see what all this entails. So I actually had to enlarge this quite a bit, and that's why the words look a little bit blurry, but we'll try to make the best of it as we can. And this is going to be kind of funky as far as how I had to edit this, but I wanted to show you all of this while I was reading this. And we'll talk about everything that entails in all this. So, dear commandants, first, thank you all for being so invested in punishing Grey Raven. We've been listening to your feedback and drawing up plans for improving the issues some of you have been reporting, which is really good to hear. Thanks for your patience as our team has had to scramble into action over the weekend, displaying our response slightly. And for that, we apologize. We hear all you all loud and clear. And these are once again issues that need to be addressed. As with our previous development blogs, we aim to let you in on our process and issues we've identified as much as possible and work alongside our community to make the best game possible. Please keep in mind that this is our first international release and our first major game besides. So remember, you know, uh, Kuro Technologies, this is the first game that actually went international for them. We're going to have to Roll this up a little bit here. Let's see, remove that up a little bit. There we go. And this, of course, no excuse for the same of the issues, kind of weird wording, players have had with the game. And we want to express our fullest apologies to everyone affected. So it's really great that they're acknowledging they messed up and they're apologizing for it. So that's actually really good. And outline what we're doing to resolve the issues you've been having with Punishing Grey Raven. Below is a short list of key issues we've identified and what's being done to improve the situation. So we'll scroll this up a little bit again. I know it's kind of squirrely there. So energy recovery event. This is really good news. This one deserves an immediate apology. So thank you for the sorry. We didn't think through the design of the energy recovery event as thoroughly as we should have. So they're admitting their faults. This, that is absolutely wonderful and failed to clearly convey the rules of players. Because of this, it pushed players towards spinning black cards, something that I warned all of you not to do, or other real money currency items to claim all the rewards. The files against the reputation were established in other regions for generous rewards through normal play. While we were past the point where we can massively rebalance the event and rework rewards, we will extend the event very nice. Thank you so much. Give us a little bit more time to farm all those resources to ensure that players that log in daily will be able to earn sufficient cell batteries, which is great. This means that they're ensuring that everybody's going to be able to get the new coding in the, in the new event, which is awesome. To claim more rewards, we have pushed the event deadline back to August 8th. So it's actually going to end on August 8th at 7 p.m. UTC time. Despite the extended time provided, some players may still have to spend a small amount on black cards or bonus battery tokens via gift packs to receive every reward from this event. But at least it's nice that they took a nice step right in the right direction and they're trying to correct it. This wasn't a big deal for me, but I know for some players it was. We're going to scroll this up a little bit here. So rainbow card and monthly pass pricing. So we had a big problem with the pricing compared to the Chinese original version of this game compared to this version they actually want us to pay a little bit more money for the same kind of packs or actually we're getting less for our money probably the largest issue reported by players is irritation that the 499 rainbow card bundle in the store only provides 28 cards falling just short of the 30 required for the popular monthly pass package that's right it forces people to buy another pack which they don't want to do this created a frustrating situation where players would have to buy the large $5.99 package and be left with a few rainbow cards in excess. We agree that it is that it's an awkward situation, but we do have a solution in the works. Very good to hear. Please be aware that this will take some time to implement. Please keep an eye out on social media channels for word on when the fix has been deployed, which we will be doing. Our solution is to introduce a new option. The monthly pass C, which will cost exactly 28 rainbow cards and as such will cost exactly 499. 
Okay, so they're rectifying what they've done wrong here. The overall reward ratio of black cards for this new monthly pass C will be equal to the monthly pass A minus an amount roughly equivalent to two ro rainbow cards, which is much better than what it was before. Only one of the A or C passes can be active at a time. Right, move this up a little bit here. And then the novice mission reward. And this was another issue that people had in the game with the novice missions. So some players have brought up the issue that our novice mission rewards appear lower in the global version of the game in terms of black card payouts. That's right. A lot of people are feeling like we're going to get less black cards in the global release versus the Chinese release. While there are fewer cards being offered overall, this is to offset the value of the gray feather storm coding that you can earn during the English version Novus mission. So what they're trying to say is because they're giving us a coding or a uniform or skin in the novice missions that they've actually lowered the amount of black cards that we're going to receive, which is something that I don't agree with because the uniform or the coding is just an aesthetic thing. It doesn't offer any stat bonuses. It doesn't make your characters any stronger or any better. It just make them, it just might make them look better aesthetically. And that is it. So I think that's kind of a crock of crap that they actually did that. Uh, it's, it's amazing that they feel there's a lot of value in those skins, but okay. Previously, both beta participation reward for the Chinese servers. The original price for the coding was more than a thousand black cards, which if you have the black cards separate and people are willing to spend that for the uniform or for the coding, that's fine. That's their choice. They can use their black cards however they want. But players that aren't interested in the coding and they just want their black cards for actual summons, they're not going to like this deal at all, which I would be one of those. We have tried to provide equal cash value of rewards between regions, so we have reduced the novice black card payout from a total of 3500 to 2500 The novice mission rewards will be available permanently, so players will not have to rush to claim these rewards and coding. We understand the same players may feel that they're missing out receiving a cosmetic reward instead of more flexible currency drops, which is exactly what I was just talking about. While the novice mission rewards will not be changing, we hear you and will better consider the reward structure of future events. So what that means is that they are not going to change this. You know, we're still going to get the same amount of black cards as we were previously. Instead, we're just going to be getting this uniform. They're saying this uniform is worth a thousand uh, BC, I guess is what it costs in the Chinese version of the game, which actually, I mean, look, it is what it is, but I do think it kind of sucks. And I do think it'd been a lot better if they would have just added black cards. And then we have some more interesting reading from old Twitter. So because both Google Play and the App Store have their own pricing templates, the price of in-app purchases is automatically converted by the store's own exchange rate system. So what they're saying here is Google Play is actually jacking up their prices, although we know that they are, right, they're, they are working that. They're going to introduce that new Volume C pack, which is going to help out a lot of players and probably make them feel a lot better because you're getting a better cost to reward ratio. We sadly do not have full control over this, which we totally understand. You know, Cure Technologies does not have control over Google Play. They do what they do. And as for understanding on the matter, uh, font size, I scroll this up a little bit here, move that up. So font size, font sizes have been an issue repeatedly brought up during our beta test. And despite some changes made, there are still improvements to be made on some screens where text may just appear far too small, too easily read on a smaller phone screen, which this is a complaint that some players have. I personally don't, but I can definitely see why people would have this complaint or even blurry on older, kind of like how this looks right now, uh, resolution devices. We are continuing to adjust and optimize things to, so everything appears crisp and clear on all the hardware. We also want to thank everyone who has brought up this issue and helped us identify which text is worst affected on low resolution screens. Your feedback is always invaluable. And then we go to the PC version. So all of you PC players out there, this might affect you. We've received a deluge of queries as to whether there will be an official PC version of Punishing Gray Raven release. And we're thrilled that so many players on other platforms want to play our game. We are internally debating the viability of a native PC release. Well, so they're thinking about actually releasing this game on PC. But in the meantime, we fully endorse the use of Android emulators 
which is what a lot, a lot of players are currently using. You can actually even set up your keyboard and all kinds of good stuff with it, which is what a lot of PC players like to do, which should provide a full speed, gorgeous looking experience, including support for high refresh rates and even ultra ride monitors. Our native gamepad and keyboard control options should allow you to fully enjoy the game for PC for the time being. And then the release regions, this is another issue. There's a lot of players out there that can't play it because the game is not released in their regions. So one of the highest goals to releasing Punishing Grey Raven across the entire globe, but sadly local policies and copyright restrictions have made launching the game in some regions more difficult than others, which is a shame. We are trying to work our way through the red tape to deliver the game to the entire planet, which is great, but there may be some regions that will be unable to reach despite our best efforts. For those of you that are having this problem, you're just going to have to use a VPN. That's, I mean, or just not play the game. That's the only way you're going to be able to play the game. And then other issues here, uh, no online game launches entirely without technical issues, which we all know, and we're actively addressing ours as quickly as possible. Our customer service team is collecting your feedback on network and blah, 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 blah. So all in all, I think this is really, really great news. And it's really awesome that they were so quick to address these issues. It is a bummer that, again, you know, we're going to be getting this coding instead of, you know, getting a thousand uh, BC, which I do think is a bummer. I know I would actually prefer the BC. But it is good to hear that they are, you know, addressing the issue in the event. Again, this wasn't a really a big deal for me. So now they're going to be giving us a lot more of these battery cells. So it's going to be a lot easier to get the rewards from there. So that should make a lot of other players happy. And it's really good to hear that they're trying to work on a PC version of the game and that they're trying to address all these issues. It's really great to know that they're going to be bringing in a new pack. It's going to be a much better for a lot, a lot of players, which is actually fantastic. So hopefully this will put this game into better standings for a lot of other players. I mean, really personally for me, I was always in good standings. I mean, I really didn't like the black card reduction. I understand why they did it, but personally, I would have preferred the extra thousand black cards. So let me know how y'all feeling about everything that we just talked about. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus seven time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.